Greetings and welcome to CRT Gaming Podcast, episode number 44, Windjammers. But I'm Jones, and with me is Daz Pick, and making his long-awaited return is Son Gohan, fresh from training with Piccolo. How are you doing this evening, sir? I've uh, been battling for months, and I'm at least at 12,000 power level at this point. But, uh, you know, <laughs> we're going to get the test back on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry is out. On his Jerry's power out. Level. <laughs> well, go on. It's been gone here for a little while. And we uh, did some games that uh, have never had a home release. And in the meantime, we were we left our uh, little Neo trilogy. And it was kind of up in the air. And uh, got a letter from a, from a pigeon from Gohan that said, play Windjammers. So uh, we played Windjammers this week, sir. What do you think about that? When we, you were talking about doing the Neo Geo games, like everyone associates Neo with the fighting games. Um, but people kind of skate on the non-fighting genre games on the system. And uh, I don't know, when the game, you know, the, the MVS came out, there were a ton of really cool arcade action games, but I really enjoyed playing Windjammers. Uh, with uh, my friends, you know, so uh, this was an easy pick for me. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, you know, like I said, uh, mostly SNK, Neo Geo fight games come to mind, but uh, but there are a lot of cool, it, you know, they're, they're derived from sports, you know, kind of like how the, the Genesis and all that, like, the, like Mutant League football and hockey and all that noise. Um, but there's a lot of cool little sports games that are on the Neo. When it comes to mind, you, any of you ever play the uh, soccer brawl that was on the Neo? Where it's kind of like a... It, it's kind of the closest thing that exists next to Shaolin soccer. It's kind of just an <laughs> <laughs> over-the-top soccer game. I'm going to say I missed that. Oh. I, I lucked out. I was able to play a lot of the sports games on the Neo, like whether it was Baseball Stars or Perfect Masters or... Like there's pretty much every single kind of genre, you know, conceivable had like one entry on it. So yeah, I did get to uh, get to play that one. But yeah, Windjammers is uh, it's an interesting game. It's kind of a uh, I don't know, like a like a mishmash, you know, between like Pong, Air Hockey, and Tron kind of. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty fun though. I, I had a good time with it. Well, you haven't played this before, Daz. So let's uh, get your take on it before. I, I enjoyed the game, so I'll say good things about it. But I'm curious what you think. I definitely enjoyed uh, its first iteration as air hockey. Uh, I played the <laughs> hell out of that. <laughs> so, yeah, seeing you play it the other day definitely was like, oh, okay, so this is digital air hockey. Okay. So I knew what I was getting into. Now, translating that into actual quality gameplay for me was uh, not good. Like, I just wasn't good at it. Played for a while. I think I beat the computer... Like one freaking time. Cheating bitch. It, it, it's cool, like to watch. Like when you were playing it, it was cool to watch somebody that knew what the hell they were doing do a good job and actually play it well. I didn't enjoy it that much, but again, I really don't enjoy sports games. So there's that. I could see how it would be fun if you know you were playing against people and yeah. Like, if you're sitting in the arcade next to somebody and playing it, that could be fun and talking shit and everything. But I really can't talk shit to the computer other than, you know, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> and, and let's that be bullshit honest move. here. And let's be um, honest here. You know, they're, they're, the, the machine's there to take your money. So it's a little different when, yeah, you're, playing exactly. against, when you're playing against a pal, you know. So. Right. So, yeah, I could see that being, you know, fun. But, yeah, it wasn't... Wasn't my speed, but yeah, it's cool. Cool enough. Did you ever play, like, was there any sports games you ever liked? Like, uh, Cyberball like... it. <laughs> Cyberball. That, that was a quick answer, Daz. <laughs> I freaking oh, yeah, just played the living just shit out of Cyberball. I don't know why. <laughs> In the scheme think, of sports I, games, that's garbage. I, and he was quick with I it. I understand too, this. <laughs> Cyber Roll was about the. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, mean, I played Madden when I had a Sega when it came out. Well, I meant like, uh, you, like, like you know, think of like Madden. It was more like uh, they're not quite a sim. You know, it's still a game. 
but NBA you Jam. Know, like, exactly, stuff like yeah. NBA Jam. Yeah, things like that, like the what was that? That super high impact football or whatever, where you were just beating the shit out of people. Uh, I toyed around with it. Anything that was like a ludicrous version of a sports game, I enjoyed it a little bit, but I never like put any real time into them in any of them. Hang on, how about uh? Well, this was made by uh, Data East. So, did you ever play Ring King? Did you ever the boxing uh, game? Do you, any of you remember that? I do remember Ring King, and I did play it a bit. I, I always liked looking at it. Like boxing games, I enjoyed uh, some. Uh, you know, fighting, you know, beat the shit out of somebody. <laughs> no, it's not. But I will say, it's the there's nothing else quite like it um, uh, as far right. as game mechanic goes. You know, it's kind of you know overly simplistic to explain, but it gets it's very fast and hectic. Like oh, there's a you want to check out something pretty cool uh they're like in the evo fighting tournaments i think like in 2018 they started doing wind jammers mm -hmm. and like watching two really good people play it's pretty crazy to watch it's yeah pretty i'm wild. sure it is yeah. yeah it's 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 pretty wild like the um sorry you were talking about ring king a second ago yeah, and, just arcadey, you know, but, sports games. Sorry, I have to tell a minor story about ranking for a second. Um, there's a mode in ranking where you can on the NES where you can set it up to just fight the computer, essentially. Like, so you're watching the computer fight itself. And me and my friend used to bet, <laughs> used to gamble on ranking <laughs> just just to pass the time. Always bet on black. <laughs> He's got it's it. like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to pick that blue guy with the green afro. Yeah, great. Awesome. <laughs> He's going to totally kick this other dude's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I had uh, growing up, like back when like the Genesis and stuff came out, I had friends that uh, didn't play video games. But as soon as like like good sports games started popping up, like the uh, like the first Madden or Lakers versus Celtics then they got a little interested in games so i used to play a lot of sports games because i mean i like basketball and football but i mean that was the way that's what they wanted to play so i'd play with them and there was one called uh i think it's like a vander holy fields like real deal boxing or something like that that one had like a, a mode where you can like like it was, i think it might have been one of the first times you could like create your own character kind of so you could actually like create a boxer and build him up over time but that's all he played he played it for like like a year like like imagine if you know like you took you sunk an obsession into something for a year and that's all you, and he made his character named iron phil which he like just <laughs> this is awesome do punch just just kill you know they were just dead that fight was over wow. like in about three seconds iron phil was not to be messed oh. with <laughs> i've seen some of those uh kind of competitive videos of, of wind jammers and that was kind of like how i got hooked on it like like daz was saying it's like playing it by yourself it's kind of not a really like it's cool to learn the mechanics and all that stuff but where the game is a lot of fun is when you're fighting against your your friends so like way back when we were all you know buddies and we were these this game came out the first place i saw a neo geo at was actually at the arcade that daz worked at and like if y'all remember it's just like this huge fire engine red cabinet and they um had the massive like um six slot or like you guys had the biggest you, you had the biggest version of of the neo geo mvs um and i kept i was working at another arcade and I kept telling the owners, I was like, we gotta get this thing, we gotta, just get it, like, it's gonna be great, like, it'll make money for us. And when they ordered theirs, they cheaped out, and they got the two-slot version of it. Mm. <laughs> but, <laughs> and if you remember, the two-slot was, like, a smaller cabinet, too. Like, it was yes. actually a smaller machine. Um, but the good news was, the two games that came in the system, the first game was Samurai Showdown 1, which is, like, goes without saying it's a classic but the second game i don't know why they picked this but they put wind jammers in the second slot and we would uh play that game constantly like when no one was in the arcade you know we'd take our keys out and just practice against each other and it kind of became the game that we played in between matches of street fighter 
I can see that. It's, a, it's pretty competitive when you're playing it. Have you checked out the, uh, what is it, almost 30 years later sequel? <laughs> That right, is, on that is, right on time. Right on time. <laughs> and it's only it's only player versus player though, so I didn't get a chance to play it. Oh yeah, it, it's it's it feels identical. Uh, it's a little it, it, if you could play wind jammers and then jump into that, it takes just a couple matches to make the transition. Just because uh, it, it plays the same, it kind of feels the same. It just looks a lot different. You know, it's a lot more you know updated looking. But uh, yeah, it's just player versus player so I, I terrorized the internet for about an hour people were uh, I'm not great at it by any means but those people were pretty bad <laughs> it sounds like awesome patreon co content for CRT gaming <laughs> just the Jones fight club of <laughs> Windjammers 2 beta <laughs> yeah it was pretty fun though I only seen the videos of it and like it looks like you know obviously it's 30 years later so everything looks really you know crisp and high res but it still has a bit of a wink towards you know the original game with all the Ray-Bans and 90s beachwear glasses and stuff all, like all the same characters are in it <laughs> it's, they're back they're as back long as more. Kay Wessel's in it Kay's, Kay Wessel's my dog I'm a Miller man <laughs> <laughs> And Biaki. Um, those are my guys. <laughs> Who, who's your guy, Daz? You, you gotta have a dude. It, let me put it this way. I tried a few different, and it didn't make any difference. <laughs> I tried, like, uh, one of the beefcake dudes, and then got, got smoked doing that, and so I was like, all right, let me try one of these, this cute little chick with, like, the super big energy bar, or big, you know, speed bar at the top. Let me try that. S same shit. I, I did win a match then. And then I got smoked again. I was like, okay, thanks. <laughs> See, we just Thank had you, more fun have with the with the speed characters. Like when we would play it in the arcade, we never actually messed around with the medium or like you know heavy guys. Like we always played with the light speed characters because that's kind of where the game became a little bit more fun. I think competitively. Yeah, yeah, you get to zip it around the screen. Yeah, it's like, oh, you play the big oafish guys, and it's kind of like, yeah, maybe it's a little bit more chess-like, but it was way more fun to have that Pong, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, reaction time. Yeah, they, they added a couple things to the new one that, that are pretty cool, actually. Uh, the one, like, you know, like a, like a disc hits hit, and it flips into the air, and then you can kind of, like, charge up and do, like, your, you know, like, power move. Uh, to throw the disc. Well, now you can jump up in the air and catch it and then throw it. I thought that was kind of cool. Oh, kind of volleyball style. Yeah, or, you know, just spike, you're not sitting there waiting it. for it. Yeah, yeah kind of like a spike. Yeah. And then you can also... Started. No, that's right. Then you kind of got like a super bar type meter. So you have like your normal... I mean, I'll call it a power move, but then you have a super move. So that was kind of cool because you can like cancel it. You can be doing like one, then immediately go into the other oh, one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, when people would get really good at the game, like that power move volley back and forth is what you know would always make a really sat satisfying end of a match where it's like you know overcharge move, overcharge move, back forth, back forth, and then somebody scores you know so. <laughs> someone eventually screws up yeah yeah, yeah they, they, they somebody blinks basically <laughs> but yeah the, the characters weren't like you know big big you know differentiators and you the environments really weren't either right because like they'd let you pick like the different locations and i don't know they mainly kind of boiled down to like just different obstacles you know like it's not like the courts really felt that different really yeah i, I, don't, I don't believe they they do anything at all other than it the the net score like, the, the scoring yeah. of the nets changes yeah, the like the size of the five point uh portion of the goal versus three point yeah so i was paying attention there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, the ai is fucking punishingly difficult like it, memory serves like back in the old days like neo on the arcade machine like you would be able to set it between difficulty one to four 
and like four was basically just like take your token like level of difficulty and we, we <laughs> would totally cheap out and set it to one so if you just kind of wanted to practice your wind jammers a little bit you you just weren't getting completely brutalized by the cheap ass you know uh, uh computer you know co computer oh. ai <laughs> yeah it's brutal it's unforgiving it has yeah, no that soul a... <laughs> dude i mean it's like you know professional flying power disc on a level that a human cannot play <laughs> yeah it's such a crazy concept that i mean it's amazing that it's it, it's still fun to play like i said it's just you know like if, if you enjoy it that is i mean if you pick it up and then just you know wing a disc around for a few minutes and put it down it's pretty fun it's, it's crazy like the the fact that they're making a game 30 years later like so many IPs like that just when companies change or go under they like they just kind of disappear it's it's awesome that Windjammer is thriving in the year 2021 yes it's amazing <laughs> against all odds <laughs> against all I, odds I, I want to see the play data on that one <laughs> how many old fogies are dusting off I want to play some Windjammers <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty yeah you should watch some of that evo stuff man it's uh it just turn the sound off because to me the only thing i hate more than taxes and the rise of skywalker is color commentary <laughs> to video games ouch town population you bro the menage a trois of pain usually you pay double for that kind of action cotton i'd love to just go punch him all right in the face i'd pay <laughs> money to do it just shut your stupid hole just earning a living, Dude, man. It's, just earning a living. It's not a living. That's my point. <laughs> the competitive, the high stakes competitive sport of wind jamming. Like, oh, we managed to change hold lives. back and hit the A button. You know. <laughs> Jay Costa, he's a fantastic balance. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, this is just <laughs> entirely insane. You guys have think. clearly spent more time watching any of that shit than I ever have. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to make it super exciting. <laughs> the game does that. You don't need to talk. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yes, I can. Yeah. I can. I can drink it all in by just observing the game. Yeah, and you can hear I the crowd react. That's all I need. Somebody telling me. <laughs> And Joe Rogan. Joe, that's what Joe. That's what Joe Rogan's going to start doing is uh, <laughs> commentating the flying disc sport genre. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> El Miyagi's got Costa in a terrible position. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be like, <laughs> interesting to listen to. <laughs> well, you were saying something, Des? <laughs> I gave up. <laughs> said he wants to play He's Street getting... Slam next week. What? That's what he wants to play. Yeah. What's that? Nah, it's, it's just like MB. Like the Neo has a lot of games that are like, uh, well, you could say. Um, like the Fatal Fury series or the King of Fighters is like a rip off of Street Fighter. So, you know, they, they took notes <laughs> to torch other genres. Street Slam is like the Neo's NBA jam. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's stuff like that going on. And then there's like Football Frenzy. It's kind of like their Tech Mobile. Oh. Um, I think Tech Mobile wins hands down in that fight, but. What was the yeah. big deal about Tech Mobile? Everybody and their mother lost their fucking minds over that. Tech Mobile, like the arcade version, like was a giant cabinet. If you ever saw it, yeah, it had two I monitors. That. It's huge. You're clear of it. Yep. It was a cool <laughs> arcade game. Tech Mobile on the NES was coded by God when that game came out. Because that was like the first time you could really yeah, play football. Because all that existed yeah. was like 10 yard fight. So it had like, uh, yep. you know, it was actual football, actual plays, actual, you know, characters that existed on teams. Um, yeah, so it was, I don't know, it, it'd be like uh, going from playing the original Street Fighter to all of a sudden like Street Fighter 3, you know, Third Strike existed. <laughs> it was a quantum leap. So what are we playing next? <laughs> Now that Gohan's back, I think it's time that we officially start Season of the Fist. 
I was wondering if that was going to happen. <laughs> it, it's, it's a slow punch, but it's finally gotten here. Um. <laughs> I thought the fingers got broke. Maybe a wrist snapped or some shit. <laughs> no. So uh, I think I will start off the season of the fist is we're going to pick a game. Mid-season. Fighting game. The mid-season of the a mid season of the fist night stream. Um, wow. <laughs> so, this will be a fighting game that is not made by Capcom nor SNK. So, that is the one stipulation uh, of your choice for the next few weeks. Time killers. It could it be whatever you want. Like, it, you could you bring the raccoon. nasty. <laughs> It leaves it open to, to a lot of things. <laughs> and Folks at a home, lot of... make sure your dumpsters are closed. <laughs> <laughs> He's loose. K- Kasumi Ninja is coming home. Um, <laughs> oh, fuck that. You know what I'm going to pick. <laughs> it's there. Oh. It's available. <laughs> I'm, it's, um, I, oh. Oh. it's happening, baby. I already know what it is. <laughs> but this, like this, you know, it puts you in a position. You can either choose something because there are some good things that existed. I was on the fence uh, about a couple of them. Um, Wait, is it only of, on Neo? No, 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 no. This is anything except an SNK fighter. Okay, okay, okay. That's or what I thought. a Capcom That's fighter. Sure. So gotcha. stuff like Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat, you know, things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But. <laughs> A lot of those play a little similar to kind of all the other games. So I am going with one that I really enjoyed. It's got a very heavy learning curve. (laughs) And it's Lord. (laughs) Now I didn't even think about that one. It is a Bushido Blade for the PlayStation. But yeah, I had a good time with it a long time ago. But uh, yeah, I was go there. Back I remember. <laughs> see if it holds up. Till then, this is uh, Jones with Daz Pick and Gohan, and we are signing out. Until next time, power with. Okay, okay. <laughs> Get him over here.